right, everybody. I've got my little jar lid. This is the sixth jar lid I've been working on. And this is going to be my playful one. So I'm going to start with my, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Amsterdam's Persian Rose. And these are all thick paints. But on something this small, you can kind of get away with it. Now this is, oh, this is just a combination, but it uh, starts out as Arteza's Pearl Pink Tulip. How fun is that? <laughs> 24 karat gold. And even this is getting long in the tooth. That is the only benefit of working small, is that you can get away with uh, consistencies that are thick because you're not having to go very far. If I were trying to point, pair, pour this on a, uh, you know, 12 by 16 or something, something bigger, I'd be in trouble. So this is dioxazine purple. I mean, pink and purple go together. Fun combination. This, I'm hoping this comes out cool. Now this is my crazy um, uh, Prism Pores Fandango combined with Pepio's Iridescent Green. I don't know why I'm off kilter here. I gotta adjust this. Everything's thick. I'm rolling off one side. My gosh. What is going on, folks? Last color is metallic, I mean, Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue with some goldens, uh, a touch of gold. I don't remember. I'll list everything in the description. Do this before a TLP. Oh, a touch of TLCP sea glass. All right, here we go. So, cell activator, Australian Floetrol. And I'm only using this because I have a bunch of it. Otherwise, I'd be using my American, my American Floetrol cell activator recipe. And creation is video 141 if you're interested in seeing that. All right, everyone, in my usual way, I like to talk through the blow, and what I'm doing right here is blowing straight down into that white and black cell activator to create a divot and a round circle and a ridge. And where that ridge starts to form with the cell activator, I aim my blow for the ridge and blow that cell activator out over the colors and the colors over the pillow. And I do that all the way around until I have the bloom fully blown out. Lightheaded. Oof. One of these days you're gonna see me just fall backward. Well, isn't this colorful? Well, look at you, pretty thing. A complete mashup of colors. Let me take, a, take about a minute break here. I'll come back. All right, let's give this thing a spin. Hope I don't lose all the turquoise. See a lot of it falling off. Oof. Well, this is something else. Well, this is something else, I'll have to say. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. Another spin. Don't lose all the turquoise. Give 
with a good whirl. You know, these are great because they're so small, you don't use much paint. But I'll tell you what, they're not easy. I mean, I find them easy, but they're not easy. I don't think they're easy because it's hard to work on such a small scale. Wow. This pink, uh, pink pearl pink tulip is showing up and it's killer. Unfortunately, I've lost all my turquoise. It's on the sides. Holy smokers. Wow. Oh, it's so pretty through here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's make sure my edges are covered. You look good. One more. Just pull this down just a hair. We covered? Let's give it one more spin. I don't want to get so close and be so far. Just let it spread. It looks great. Okay, well, let's see if I can pick this thing up. I do better this way. Here is this guy. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Fill it up with your favorite thing. Give it away. Put it in your pantry. Christmas time. All this. Oh my gosh. So everyone, that's a wrap. That's one of six that I created upon request for someone. And here are the other five. And at the end, I will show the final resin results. So if you're new here, please subscribe, watch the video in full, hit the bell and all, a thumbs up and a comment would be great because otherwise, if you don't do several of those things, YouTube will not recognize your subscription as legitimate and will remove it in a couple hours. So here is the final flyover. At the end, I will have a link to my other jar lid playlists so you can see other color combinations and other sets. And just so you're all aware, all of my creations are available for purchase if you like them, or I can make anything custom upon request. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find these tutorials informative and useful. And that's about all for now, and we will see you next time. Take care, everybody.